Women FC TV with Adam Hinch. We're looking ahead to Eastbourne Borough away in the National League South. Our opponents just on Boxing Day. We're facing them off uh, with them again. How are you feeling going into it? Um, we, we as well, isn't it? To have a like, back to back, it's almost like a, a playoff type game, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it's, it's a local derby. Um, a no, real tricky place to go, especially if like the wind gets up down there. It can uh, real have an uh, impact on the game. So, yeah, a few things to, to consider uh, when we go down there in terms of our team selection and stuff. But, yeah, they're obviously going to be um, a bit disgruntled how the, the game turned out here and, um, you know, how... Um, you know the, the result went so you know, I know Mark and Jay they're going to be working tirelessly to, to try and put that right on Monday so you know it's it's, it's got to be about how we apply ourselves um, if we turn up with any um, thoughts that it's going to be an easy game then we're going to be in for a really tough afternoon so it's about us um, getting our mindset right and uh, approaching the game properly. We've obviously been to Porridge Lane already this season. It was pretty tricky in the FA Cup, and we maybe got away with one that afternoon. Obviously, shows that they've got a lot of quality there, and they are a tough opposition to come up against at their, at their place. No, they certainly are, and you know the the level of um, quality of player that they've been able to attract. Um, and I will tell you that, and I think even you know as maybe good as the performance was, there are still moments where. You know, this one causes some problems. So, you know, they'll definitely be looking at that and trying to implement a few more of them, especially being at home. Um, like I say, we've got a, you got almost, um, you know, put put um, the last fixture to one side and, and really focus on on this game. It's a fresh game and um, completely different um, circumstances, and we've got to, like I say, mentally be be ready um, and approach the game properly. How's the squad looking ahead of it, and how's the preparation been going into it? Oh yeah, pretty good. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll see with, with training. Um, if we've got one or two back, uh, one Luke is back um, definitely from um, having Christmas uh, back in Spain. So hopefully he's like refreshed and, and ready to go. And yeah, Nicky Wheeler is still not quite sure on Kane's calf, um, Ollie Pierce. So there's a few doubts with few players um, so we'll have to look at them and see how they're getting on um, but yeah there'll, there'll be no complaints um, you know, I still feel we'll have enough um, to put a competitive team out there and like I say it'd be down to to us to, to try and um, try and rediscover the, the, the form and the performance levels uh, from our last game. Absolutely and you said actually last year that this was a time that we kicked up a gear last season do you think that could be the same again this year? I uh, hope so, yeah. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, but we've had good performances and then you're hoping that they can go on a little run and put a um, run of results together and it's not been able to quite pad out that way. So, um, yeah, really hope hoping that we can. Um, but you know, there's no giving in this league. Got to be at it and, and mentally more than anything um, for, for every game and that's, that's got to be our challenge. So it's our first game of a new year in 2024. Looking back on 2023 as a whole, <coughs> plenty of achievements over the year. What have you made of it as a whole? Um, yes, been okay. Um, I'd say a few achievements there. FA Cup run maybe and winning the Sussex in the Cup. Uh, our first um, go at this level and, and finishing sort of fourth. Um, but yeah, just feel there's more <coughs> more to come and want to keep striving, keep pushing. Um, don't want us to get in a position where we're happy with what we're doing. And um, we obviously got knocked out of the Sussex in the Cup, got knocked out of the trophy early <coughs> this year. Um, there has been some heavy defeats. So yeah, not all, all singing and all dancing. We've loads for us to improve on. Um, and that's got to be the, the the key message going into the new year is, you know, there's still still more to come. Um, and you know, if we get the players believing that as well, then um, want to push and, and improve things in, in in the new year. And just uh, one final word for uh, George Dow. Uh, just came out yesterday that he's getting awarded an MBE in the New Year's Honours list. I mean, I think we both agree. I think all of us at the club can agree. Very well deserved. Uh, 
few words on George. Uh, what, what an achievement for him. Oh, yeah, George Dow, MBE. He's got a certain ring to it, isn't it? Um, I like to say, fully deserved. Uh, you know, what an inspirational character um, and person he is. And um, yeah, just should be absolutely delighted, like we are as a, as a club, um, to have someone like that. Um, someone like George associated with this football club um, is, you know, a real, real sort of honour, and um, yeah, it's got a nice ring to it, and, and like I say, fully deserved as well.